Well, here it is, uh, the first short bag that I've filled with firewood. So this is half the size of a face cord, so it's one-sixth of a cord that fits in these bags. And what my plan is to do with these is I have a lot of people asking me for something larger than bundles. And um, this is what I'm going to offer them. Um, I'm going to charge, I think, 60 per bag. Because I charge 120 for a face cord. And um, basically, though, this is not bundle grade stuff. This is just stuff that I've knocked down. So at least it's small enough for person can handle it pretty easy but it still has bark on it although a lot of this is falling off right now all of this is box elder so it's not great heating wood anyway but it'll work really good for uh, fire pits or camping or something like that so that's why I decided to go this way I will put a link in the description for where I got these they have these and the full size third cord I also use the log lift bags that I got from Shaver Equipment. None of these people know who I am. They have no clue who I am. Wouldn't recognize my name, wouldn't recognize my channel name or anything. It's just me trying this stuff out and uh, letting folks know what it's all about. Unbiased. I think these are going to work good. They have good ventilation. Um, just like the log lifts, they just don't have uh, mosquito netting on two sides like the log lift bags have. These are considerably cheaper, especially these short ones, because they are half the size, right? I have one of these at my house uh, that I've started putting kindling in. When I run the mill, I have a lot of uh, small little offcuts. I've been cutting those down and putting them into one of these. So I have kindling for the entire winter. I uh, don't have to mess with uh, making that in the middle of the winter. So that should work pretty good for that. But uh, let's go over and look at the rack that I made. So Shaver Equipment, he sells a rack. And he's been through three iterations, I think. And um, his first one was just uh, a base and then four poles coming up and then hooks coming in from here and up so when but you, you know you pretty much have to have two people and then his second one was kind of like this but a little bit different and then he's got a third one that ships better I don't care about shipping because this is mine and I'm just gonna use it here um, Shaver Equipments is over a thousand dollars to get it I spent $288 on three chunks of uh, square tubing, two inch and inch and a half. So my base is all two inch, and then from here on is inch and a half, and this little brace in between is inch and a half. Um, take a good look at my welds. I'm not a welder by trade, um, but this will hold up, I'm pretty dang sure. Um, I spent a good couple days, not eight hour days, but a more, two mornings working on this. And then I slapped a, a coat of paint on it. Even did the underside uh, because this will be sitting out in the elements. Um, add bracing down here and up here. So with the short bag, with that all the way down, I had to double up the pallets. They seem to work alright. Doesn't bother me at all. I have plenty of pallets. But I'll pull this off. So that's what the bottom is. I believe it's like 40, 41 inches side to side here. Four foot from that corner to the front edge here. Same with the uprights, it's four foot out from the upright okay so we're talking from where the other piece is that they're welded to from here to there's four foot 
It's just a little five inch piece I welded in. I didn't weld in there, probably should have, but I didn't. Um, a lot of splatter. I just used a uh, flux core welder. Um, and then on the back here, I have some bolts so I can adjust the height. I'll lift it up here and come back and show you. So here it's uh, extended up. And I believe that this will be the proper size uh, for the full size log lift bags. If not, it is adjustable to all heights. You know, I kind of have a little paint stick mark there. That's 74 inches from here up to there. Now I think that's gonna be all right because I have to put a pallet there yet too. So that should put us around 70 inches. We'll see. So here's uh, both of those side by side. This is a full size. Um, I, I can't remember what the heck the name of these are. Uh, doesn't have the name on the side like log so it's easy, harder to remember. But uh, here's the log bags. And as you can see, you can see right in there and see what all is inside there. Where these you cannot. So that can be a pro to the log bags. Ventilation might be a little better. I don't know. We're gonna find out, right? Um, but these seem narrower and taller than this style. And this style has uh, drawstrings at the top, which I kind of like because it keeps it all tight and together. Where those, mm, you know, just kind of this way and that way. It looks like a, this one's kind of lean a little bit. So these are an alternative to IBC totes, right? So here's some IBC totes. And uh, if you stack, stack the wood in there, you can get a third of a cord in these taller ones, not in the short ones like this, but in the taller ones, you can get a third of a cord if you stack it up high, right? And you gotta stack it in there these you can just throw it in there and you can see they're they're taller than ibc totes it's all about volume right so you figure out the volume of thrown in wood per cord divide by three that's what's in here i think it's 180 cubic foot for thrown thrown in wood that equals a cord and uh whatever that is divided by anyway so that's how much volume this is, you know, and these, you know, stretch open and stuff. As you put product in there, they stretch out. I'm sure after they get used a year, they'll stretch even more. Um, but the purpose of this is so I don't have to stack. Put a lot of time into stacking wood. So this is my second year of selling wood my third year of making wood my first year i made wood and didn't sell any so like this is my cherry wood and that's all stacked all my smoking wood i stack all my bundle wood just because it's easier to get at it when you're making bundles is stacked i'm getting pretty low on bundle wood this is all bundle wood that's all bundle wood and this is a uh, month or so old bundle wood, so it's not dry yet. So basically, these two are what I have for bundles for the remainder of this season. And bundle season in Northwest Iowa is the summer months, right? Um, so I re-split a lot of heating wood to make this bundle wood, um, just because I was getting pretty low. I wanted to make sure I had enough to finish out the year. I think this is the right move for me now to uh, keep things going. Last winter, I had people wanting heating wood, and I'm out here. It's cold, really cold, and I'm chucking wood to uh, deliver some firewood. Uh, this year, I'm going to pick up bags of wood and load them that way 
with the coyote and be done with it. All from the comfort of the heated cab and so much faster, so, so much less time handling. I, I think that time is very important. Uh, time is a very expensive resource. So that's what I got today. Um, hopefully you found this informational. Um, and uh, if, if you want a more in-depth uh, look at this build, let me know. If you're doing bags and you want to know a way to, to make one of these yourself, I will not be making them for anybody except myself because I might make another one. I have, a, I have to get another stick of the two inch though because I went through all my two inch, an inch and a half um, I bought two sticks of. So I have enough inch and a half to uh, get this done. But anyway, thanks everybody for stopping in and checking out this video. Until next time, be safe brothers and sisters.